You may find it hard to pronounce Nepoalcinsin. It's a Nahuatl word for an advanced mathematical tool used by the Olmecs, Mayans, and Aztecs of Mesoamerica. This device is used for basic arithmetic, algebra, trigonometry, and even calculus. One way to learn how to say Nepoalcinsin is by breaking the word up into three parts. One of the Mexican professors who taught Arizonans about the device says each part has its own definition. So let's start with the first two letters. Any or ne, this means person. Next are the letters P O H U A L or poal, this means to count or to tell a story. And then the final eight letters T Z I N, T Z I N or zinzin, this means to transcend or to share what one knows. Ne poal zinzin. Nepoalcinsin. Math teacher Sharon Stefan was at a recent workshop to learn how to use the Nepoalcinsin. She sat down with KJZZ Explains to show us how it works. Okay, so we're going to add 237 to 564. So on the Nepo, we need to represent the 237 first. So anything above the yellow line is a five piece. So this is five. Two pieces is a 10, three pieces is 15, and this is one, two, three, four. So anything on the bottom of the yellow line is in terms of ones. So to represent seven, it's going to be five, six, seven. 30 is going to be represented by one, two, three. And then 200 is going to be represented by one, two. So this is the number 237. So now what I want to do is I want to add on 564. So for me to add on four pieces, there's not enough kernels on the bottom half to add four. I only have two. But I have to remember that on the top I have a five. So five minus one is going to give me the four I need. So I pull down a five and subtract off a one to give me the four I need. If I go to the next space, I need to add 60. So 60 is 50 plus 10. And then I need to add 500, which is this number up here. So now we need to do this idea of regrouping. So in the ones place, I have a 5 plus a 5, which is a 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So these get replaced with a 50. And I have a 50 plus a 50, which is a 100. So I re replace that 50 with this 100. So now my final answer should be 5, 6, 7, 8, which is 800. There's nothing here, so this is a 0. And then there's a 1 here. So when I add it together, I get 801. To learn more about this and other stories, visit fronterasdesk.org.